Welcome to Chemistry Classes. In this video, we are going to discuss about Grade 12 Chemistry. Grade 12 Chemistry Chemical Kinetics. Okay. So, in this video, we are going to discuss about reaction, chemical kinetics, rate of reaction, order of reaction, instantaneous rate, average rate. These are the things we are going to discuss in this chapter. Clear? So, first one. Uh, look here, we are going to discuss about chemical kinetics. Consider one chemical reaction. Consider one chemical reaction. Here, uh, a reactant changes to product. Reactant changes to product. The initial concentration of reactant R1, R1 changes to product P, P1. Here, reactant R1 completely not changes to product. Some of the reactant, some of the reactant R1 changes to product P1. Okay, then after time T1, R1 changes to R2. Again, after some time, this R2 changes to P2. So consider a chemical reaction here. Reactant R1 changes to P1. Here, R1 not completely changed to product. Some of the R1 changed to product. Okay. After some time, this R1 changed to R2. Then, again, at the time T2, R2 changed to P2. You understand? So, this is two chemical reaction. And we did here two equation. From this equation, we can say change in time so here we have two time time t1 and time t2 okay so change in time delta t equal to t2 minus t1 similarly we can say change in concentration of reactant initial concentration of reactant r1 final concentration of reactant r2 so change in concentration of reactant r2 minus r1 Similarly, change in concentration of product, change in concentration of product, delta P, delta P equal to P2 minus P1, okay, concentration of product, P2 minus P1. So here, delta T, T2 minus T1, delta R, R2 minus R1, similarly, delta P equal to P2 minus P1. This is, this is the change in concentration of reactant and product. Now listen here, uh, rate of reaction, the equation for rate of reaction, rate of reaction will be equal to change in concentration of reactant divided by change in time, change in concentration of reactant divided by change in time. Similarly, we can say change in concentration of product divided by change in time. We have a chemical reaction R1 changed to P1. So according to time, how much amount of reactant decrease? We will measure this to find rate of reaction. Okay. Or we can do uh, according to the time, how much amount of product increasing with the time? Okay. How much amount of reactant decreasing? or how much amount of product increasing with the time this is the this is the method to find rate of reaction so rate of reaction will be equal to minus delta r divided by delta t or you can say delta p divided by delta t here delta r mean change in concentration of reactant change in concentration of reactant divided by change in time Similarly here, change in concentration of product divided by change in time. Look here, when you use concentration of reactant, there will be negative sign. This negative sign indicate amount of reactant decrease. I told you amount of reactant decreasing with the time. So when you use concentration of reactant, there will be a negative sign. This negative sign indicate amount of reactants decreasing with the time amount of reactants decreasing with the time 
but here no negative sign there will be positive sign because amount of product increasing with the time amount of product increasing with the time now look here we can find we can write rate of reaction uh, using two different equation hg plus cl2 giving hg cl2 mercury liquid state chlorine gaseous state reacted to form mercury chloride it is solid state rate of reaction rate of reaction we can write here minus delta hg divided by delta t here hg mercury and chlorine they are reacting so when you use changing concentration of mercury or chlorine there will be negative sign or you can use changing concentration of mercury chloride divided by changing time okay this is the equation for rate of reaction for this equation look here another equation 2n2o5 2n2o5 giving 4no2 plus o2 2n2o5 giving 4no2 plus o2 here rate of reaction look here not like this equation there is 2 here there is 4 here like coefficient so this coefficient we will write like this half okay 1 by 2 delta concentration of n2o5 divided by delta t here 4 coefficient 4 so we will write here 1 by 4 1 by 4 change in concentration of no2 divided by delta t okay so this coefficient we will write like this 1 by 2 or 1 by 4 this negative sign because this is reactant okay this is next one we have to discuss here instantaneous rate and average rate instantaneous rate and average rate look here consider a chemical reaction a and b combine to form product p a and b react to form product p okay uh, we know here these are reactant a and b are reactant and p is product i told you before amount of reactants decreasing with the time amount of reactants so concentration of a and concentration of b decreasing with the time similarly concentration of product increasing with the time amount of product increasing so look here uh, concentration of reactant Ima imagine initial concentration of reactant and product initial concentration of a and b five then according to time amount of a or concentration of a and b decreasing five four three two one zero so concentration of a and b decreasing with the time here time in second is progressing zero one two three four five okay similarly concentration of product initially concentration of product zero okay but concentration of product increasing with the time zero one two three four five so concentration of product increasing concentration of reactant decreasing okay now here we have to discuss two point instantaneous rate and average rate instantaneous rate instantaneous rate mean it's a uh, <coughs> rate of reaction at a particular instant here reaction takes place from 0 to 5 second okay so when you take a particular instant rate of reaction between 0 to 3 seconds it is instantaneous rate you consider rate of reaction 0 to 4 second not complete time not complete concentration change you take some particular time interval you take some particular concentration change okay that rate of reaction called instantaneous rate of reaction clear so rate of reaction at a particular instant it is called instantaneous rate of reaction example rate 0 to 3 seconds so we can say we know rate of reaction change in concentration of reactant divided by change in time here instantaneous rate we will use to represent dA by dt minus dA by dt this is reactant that's why negative sign dA by dt okay 
average rate we will discuss later average rate we will represent delta a divided by delta t delta a mean complete concentration change of uh, concentration change of a delta t complete time change here minus da by dt mean uh, we will consider only this particular time interval only this particular concentration change so minus da by dt okay so we have to consider 0 to 3 second so this is concentration of a 0 to 3 second mean uh, concentration change final concentration minus initial concentration 2 minus 5 okay 2 minus 5 divided by change in time 3 minus 0 final time minus initial time 3 minus 0 this negative sign because we consider concentration of reactant that's why this negative sign so you got final answer here 1 okay next one average rate average rate I told you rate of reaction here we will consider total concentration change divided by total uh, total time change total concentration change divided by total time change that is average rate here rate of reaction minus minus delta a divided by delta t which is equal to uh, which is equal to um, delta a mean total concentration change okay this is the final concentration minus initial concentration 0 minus 5 also total time change 5 minus 0 this is here 0 minus 5 5 minus 0 and this is because of reactant this negative sign we consider here reactant so that's why this is negative sign also here final answer we got 1 okay and you try you you try a different instantaneous rate for this table consider this table and you can try to find instantaneous rate some particular interval for example 1 to 4 or 2 to 5 rate of reaction from 2 second to 5 second or find instantaneous rate from 1 second to 4 second try to find this instantaneous rate okay and write the answer in comment box now here average rate i told you total time total concentration change divided by total time change also we discussed the answer here now see here unit of rate of reaction unit of rate of reaction we know rate of reaction change in concentration of reactant or product divided by change in time okay so here change in concentration mean concentration concentration unit mole per liter mole per liter time second so this is the this is the unit of rate of reaction mole per liter second inverse mole per liter second inverse okay next one we have to discuss here rate law expression rate law expression according to rate law expression we can say rate of reaction rate of reaction directly proportional to concentration of reactants according to rate law expression rate of reaction directly proportional to concentration of reactant consider here one chemical reaction a reacted with the b form c plus d okay here A and B are reactant. C and D are product. This small letter A, it is the coefficient, number of moles of A. For example, you know, 2 and 2. 2 and 2. Here 2 moles of 2 moles of N2. Similarly, here A moles of A. So these are the coefficient. A, B, C, D are the coefficient. And here capital letter A, B, these are reactant. Capital letter C and D, these are product. Okay. Here I will give you an example. N2 plus 
थ्री एच टू गिविंग टू एन एच थ्री हियर हियर एन टू इट विल बी वन एन टू वन सो हियर द कोफिशन इज वन थ्री एच टू हियर कोफिशन इज थ्री टू एन एच थ्री हियर कोफिशन इज टू सिमिलरली हियर ए ए मोल्स ऑफ ए रिएक्टेड विथ बी मोल्स ऑफ बी giving c moles of c plus d moles of d now here look here we can say rate of reaction directly proportional to i'm just erasing this here rate of reaction directly proportional to concentration of reactant according to rate law expression rate of reaction directly proportional to concentration of reactant okay and a and b are reactant and these are the coefficient small letter a it is coefficient and we will write here like a power okay concentration of a power small letter a concentration of b power small letter b these are the coefficient okay look here here rate of reaction directly proportional to concentration of reactant directly proportional change to equal to so i have to multiply this concentration of reactants with the rate constant here k it is rate constant consider one example 2 no plus o2 giving 2 no2 2 no plus o2 giving 2 no2 all of them are gaseous state okay and here rate of reaction we know rate of reaction change in concentration of reactant divided by change in time it will be equal to k times concentration of reactant k times concentration of no power 2 this 2 over here power 2 okay times concentration of o2 here o2 power 1 so here power 1 another example another example 2 n2o5 giving 4 no2 plus o2 2 n2o5 giving 4 no2 plus o2 here rate of reaction will be equal to k times concentration of n2o5 k times concentration of n2o5 listen here carefully here coefficient 2 so we will not write coefficient 2 over here this is first order reaction here it is first order reaction we will discuss what is order of reaction okay look here in previous case here 2 and here 1 2 and 1 actually this 2 and 1 are getting by experiment not theoretically not from equation we have to do some experiment based on experiment we will find these values after this slide we will discuss about that experiment okay so here here this are the order of reaction here power 2 here power 1 2 plus 1 3 so this is third order reaction third order reaction this order of reaction concentration of no power 2 concentration of oxygen power 1 this numbers are obtained by experiment by experimentally we will get over here 1 that's why here not 2 here it is 1 so we have to say here 1 so it is first order reaction okay here it is 3 so it is third order reaction i will repeat once again according to rate law expression rate of reaction directly proportional to concentration of reactant a here this is one chemical reaction so according to this chemical reaction rate of reaction directly proportional to concentration of a concentration of b okay and listen carefully this a and b are not from equation actually these are obtained from equation sometime according to equation and experiment it will be same according to equation here 2 and here 1 it is 3 okay according to equation and experiment both are same but always not same in this case according to equation here it is 2 
but according to experiment it is one okay so we have to consider according to experiment what is the value that we will write over here clear so this is first order reaction and this is third order reaction and look here we know rate of reaction directly proportional to concentration of concentration of reactant according to rate law equation according to rate law expression rate of reaction directly proportional to concentration of reactant or we have to say rate of reaction equal to k times concentration of reactant imagine if concentration of reactant is unity if concentration of reactant is unity if it is one so here rate of reaction will be equal to k so rate constant k will be equal to rate of reaction when concentration of reactant is unity clear one look here this table in this table here these are the different experiment four different experiment okay here in first experiment we did uh, concentration of 0 0.30 uh, concentration of oxygen 0 0.30 and this is the rate of reaction we did second experiment concentration of oxygen constant but we changed the concentration of NO here 0 0.30 here 0 0.60 here twice here concentration of NO changed twice here 0 0.30 here 0 0.60 two times but the concentration of O2 in first and second experiment constant so look here this is the rate of reaction in first experiment and second experiment this is the rate of reaction so what is the difference when you consider first and second experiment concentration of oxygen is constant when you change the concentration of NO twice what happened to the rate of reaction first it was 0 0.096 in second case it is 0 0.384 0 0.384 okay so here rate of reaction difference these two values difference you can find like this 0 0.384 divided by 0 0.096 so the difference between these two it is 4 so here when you change concentration of NO twice here rate of reaction change four times before it was 0 0.096 when you multiply this with 4, you will get this one. When you multiply this number with 2, you will get this one. At same time, rate of reaction, you have to multiply with 4. It's mean. What is the meaning of this? When you consider concentration of NO, here rate of reaction will be second order. When you, when you increase, when you increase concentration of NO twice, then rate of reaction four times. So twice increasing, not same way, here, to, here two times, here also two times, then you have to say it is first order reaction. Look here, here when you consider concentration of oxygen, it will be first order. When you consider first and third experiment, concentration of oxygen 0 0.3, 0 0.6, twice increasing. In each case, in first and third experiment, concentration of NO, same, not change, not changing. But only concentration of oxygen is changing, 0 0.3, 0 0.6, twice same way the order of reaction also increasing same way twice here twice here also twice so you have to say this is first order reaction directly proportional here twice rate of reaction also twice here three times here also three times then you have to say it is first order reaction 
first order but in this case first and second first and second here twice increasing here four times increasing then you have to say you have to say it is second order reaction second order reaction so according to this experiment you have to say rate of reaction equal to rate of reaction equal to k times concentration of no power 2 concentration of oxygen power 1 so this is third order reaction third order reaction okay so order of reaction we will obtain by experimentally not theoretically okay so order of reaction order of reaction mean sum of power of concentration term in rate law expression this is rate law equation or you have to say rate law expression okay and here here this is the power of concentration term here 2 and here no number mean here 1 okay so 2 plus 1 it is 3 so order of reaction is 3 so what is order of reaction sum of power of concentration term in rate law equation it is called it is called order of reaction okay next one we have to understand here unit of rate constant unit of rate constant listen here rate of reaction equal to k times concentration of n2o5 k times concentration of n2o5 so rate constant k equal to rate divided by concentration of n2o5 you know rate you know the unit of rate mole per liter second inverse we discussed before mole per liter second inverse and concentration of n2o5 also mole per liter concentration term its unit mole per liter so this mole per liter this mole per liter will be cancelled only second inverse left so unit of rate constant for this chemical reaction is second inverse remember rate constant unit of rate constant not same for all chemical reaction okay it will be different for different chemical reaction for this chemical reaction unit of rate constant second inverse see another equation another experiment rate equal to k times concentration of no power 2 concentration of oxygen okay so here rate constant k equal to rate divided by concentration of no power 2 concentration of oxygen so unit mole per liter second inverse mole per liter power 2 mole per liter okay so this term this term will be cancelled okay so mole mole per mole inverse 2 liter square second inverse when this term come up it will be like this mole inverse to liter square second inverse this is the unit of reaction this is the unit of rate constant for this chemical reaction so remember rate unit of rate constant not always same it will be different for different chemical reaction Okay, look here next one we have two questions given first one calculate the order of reaction calculate order of reaction here rate of reaction directly proportional to k times concentration of a uh, 3 by 2 concentration of b power 1 by 2 okay these are the concentration term and these are the power we have to find the order of reaction we know how to find the order of reaction sum of power of concentration term we have to add these two power 3 by 2 plus 1 by 2 so we will get here answer 2 this is the answer here so this is second order reaction second order reaction look here second question a combined with b produce product p here rate equal to k times concentration of a power 1 by 3 concentration of b power 2 here you have to find unit of k 
unit of k you have to find unit of k you know k equal to rate divided by concentration of a power 1 by 2 uh, here power 1 by 3 okay concentration of power 1 by 3 concentration of b power 2 we have to find the unit of k unit okay so you know rate unit of rate mole per liter second inverse you have to remember this unit of rate uh, mole per liter second inverse and here it's unit mole per liter power 1 by 3 its unit mole per liter power 2 so here 1 mole per liter here mole per liter power 2 so we can cancel one of this this and one of this cancelled okay so here 1 by 3 and here 1 when you when you add 1 by 3 and 1 you will get 4 by 3 okay here mole per liter 1 by 3 mole per liter we cancel 2 so there will be 1 so 1 by 3 plus 1 so you will get 4 by 3 so here totals second inverse mole per liter 4 by 3 finally you will get bring this up mole per uh, mole power 4 minus 4 by 3 liter power 4 by 3 second inverse and this is the unit of rate constant here okay next one we have to discuss here molecularity next one we have to discuss here molecularity we discussed before order order means sum of power of concentration term in rate law expression that is order of reaction molecularity means number of species number of species number of atoms molecules or ions that actively involve in chemical reaction simultaneously they collide each other and give product such type of species are called molecularity number of species that take part in a chemical reaction called molecularity for example look here nh4no2 giving n2 plus 2h2o here how many species here in this equation one so here it is unimolecular reaction h2 plus cl2 giving 2 hcl here 1 h2 1 cl2 2 2 species so it is bimolecular reaction Similarly, here 2NO plus O2, 2 plus 1, it is trimolecular reaction, unimolecular reaction, bimolecular reaction, trimolecular reaction. These are examples for uh, different molecularity. Okay, so molecularity may be 1, 2, 3, 4, etc. It never becomes fraction it never become zero that is molecularity but order we discussed before order order may be zero order maybe maybe fraction 1.5 2.5 so order can possible order may be fraction or order can become zero okay but molecularity never zero it is it is always whole number it is never zero never fraction okay that is molecularity and here based on molecularity we have to say there are two different type of chemical reaction simple reaction and complex reaction simple reaction also called elementary reaction simple reaction mean chemical reaction here reactant directly change to product here this chemical reaction simple reaction mean chemical reaction it takes place in a single step only one step here reactant directly changes to product here here you can see only one peak but another one <coughs> reactant changes to one activated complex reactant changes to activated complex then this activated complex again changes to product this type of chemical reactions are called complex reaction so this is simple reaction and this is complex reaction okay simple reaction mean chemical reaction in which reactant directly change to product without any activated complex it is simple step that is simple reaction also called elementary reaction complex reaction example complex reaction example 2 no2 plus f2 giving 2 no2 f this chemical reaction takes place in two steps first step no2 plus f 
NO2 plus F2 giving NO2 F here fluorine released in second step again that fluorine reacting again it it giving complete product so here two step okay that's why here here NO2 F this is activated complex okay this is NO2 F here <coughs> this NO2 F again reacted with the fluorine final product formed this type of chemical reactions are called complex reaction clear and here order of reaction and molecularity their difference we discussed already order of reaction means sum of power of concentration term in weight law expression it is applicable in both both simple reaction and complex reaction both elementary reaction and complex reaction we can apply order of reaction okay and the order of reaction can be zero or fraction molecularity molecularity mean number of number of reacting species that actively involved in chemical reaction that is molecularity okay molecularity it is applicable only simple reaction it is applicable only elementary reaction okay molecularity always whole number not fraction also it cannot become zero these are the major difference between order and molecularity okay so in this video we discussed rate of reaction how to find rate of reaction how to write rate equation when you given some chemical reaction how to write how to write rate equation okay also we discuss what is the order of rate of reaction uh, what is the order of rate equation also we discuss unit of rate of reaction unit also we discuss rate constant and its unit also we discuss order and molecularity how to find order of different reaction okay so these are the different things we discussed over here okay thank you for watching uh, this video okay you can subscribe and you can subscribe and press the bell icon for more video thank you